Hi, I'm David Lee and welcome to another edition of Culinary Capers here at Shell Point. Today I thought I might share with you my own recipe for a homemade chocolate sauce. And I shouldn't say it's mine, it came from a very, very dear friend, chef in St. Louis. Uh, and you know, you could say, well, why don't I just use Hershey's? But if you ever do something like this, it, it, as Emerald Live would say, it'll kick it up a notch. So let's, let's show you how to make this simple chocolate sauce that'll be just wonderful on anything you put it on. So there's only four ingredients to it. So if um, you want to use some good chocolate, I happen to give you three examples here. This, I always look for the good stuff on sale. And I, I, used the, I usually use the non-semi-sweet, which is called Belgian chocolate. But this is the chocolate I just bought at Aldi, it was on sale. This was on sale at uh, Publix a few weeks ago, and the semi-sweet was on sale at Target. So I kind of watched for the sales and uh, used my own chocolate. So sometimes I use semi-sweet, but I, use, I usually like to have the darker, bittersweet chocolate because I just like the flavor of that better, but it's whatever you like. So chocolate is the main ingredient. The only other ingredient is a splash of water. And when I say a splash of water, I'm going to put in the, you'll see how I use it. It'll probably take a quarter of a cup of water. A splash of Grand Marnay, which you don't need to use if you want, but it, the orange flavor really adds something to it. And then a splash of heavy cream. So, uh, and it keeps nicely. So let's get started. And I still like to use a, a double boiler. And if it wasn't for the show today, I would have been used the whole double boiler. But I wanted you to be able to see how we do this. Now I'm, I'm going to debunk what I call one of the myths of, of chocolate. Uh, any, everybody, every time you see a TV show they say don't put water in chocolate it'll seize up. And they're right. But Theo taught me that if you keep stirring it, it comes out. So we want to just thin it out a bit. <clears throat> I probably just put a tablespoon or two in and see how it's thickening up here. And that's okay. So now we'll put a little bit more in. And it'll start to loosen up. Now it looks to me like I've put a, a eight ounces of chocolate and it looks like I've got just about a quarter of a cup of water here. And it looks like I need a little bit more to smooth it out. So I wanted to show you this just so you can see that it just takes a little trial and error and put a little bit at a time. And all the time I've still got it under my, my um, boiling water down here so it keeps it nice and warm. Now Okay, so now it's starting to loosen up. And I don't I want this to be a nice kind of a medium thick sauce, so I don't want too much water in it. I can always add more water, but I can't take it out. So now I'm gonna put the splash of Grand Marine in and I'm gonna say a tablespoon. Um, just because Grand Marine is a is an orange flavored liqueur. So once again, um, a little orange juice. If you don't want to put alcohol in. And then finally, a nice splash of heavy cream. There you have it, just a nice, thick, 
thin consistency, just what I want, I'm looking for here. So there you have it, my chocolate sauce, thanks to Theo in St. Louis. And now I'll show you how we use it. So now what we do with the chocolate sauce, I put it in containers like this so that I can keep it in the fridge and, and bring it out each night. And as I've told you before, Theo the chef taught me to say you eat with your eyes first. So when I entertain with our neighbors and friends, I like to think about how to serve the food. So as a sidebar to you, I'm, I'm experimenting, I'm trying to make my own ice cream cones. And I want to make miniature ice cream cones. So one of these days, we'll do a show. I don't have them quite perfected yet, but I'm going to have miniature ice cream cones to serve them in. But I, and I made some cone cups to serve them in. And OK, you're not, probably not going to make these yourself. But if you go up to Love Boats, you can buy them. And then I made some profiteroles the other day and had them in the freezer. So I took this one out just about an hour ago. So I'm going to show you two ways I would serve us or our guests with my homemade vanilla ice cream, French vanilla. So all of this can be made ahead of time. And you have your chocolate sauce ahead of time. And this is two different ways that I would serve. There we go. It's a little thick, so I'm just going to take it off here. Who doesn't like a lot of chocolate sauce anyway? Anyway, there's just a couple ways I would serve this nice dish. Rather than me try this today, I'm going to save this for my two producers here to enjoy. So this is my chocolate sauce that I just love and it beats the heck out of Hershey's any day of the week. So thanks for joining me today and enjoy some chocolate. Mm -hmm.